today we are observing the World Blood Donors Day. So I wish this program be a successful and meaningful one. Every year, countries around the world celebrate World Blood Donors Day. The event is observed to raise awareness regarding the importance of safe blood and blood products and also to thank the voluntary unpaid blood donors all over the world. A blood service that gives patients access to safe blood and blood products are key components of effective health systems of any state or district. The theme for World Blood Donors Day changes every year. The theme for this year, that is 2022, is donating blood is an act of solidarity, join the efforts and save lives. It is to draw the attention to the roles that blood donation play in saving the lives and enhancing solidarity within the community. World Blood Donor Day uh, is celebrated to ensure that everyone who needs transfusion has access to safe blood. Country needs voluntary unpaid blood donors who donate blood regularly. An effective blood donor program requires wide and active participation of the population. And this year's slogan, as we all know, is uh, donating blood is an act of solidarity, join the efforts and save lives. And let us know what is blood. Uh, blood, the sustainer of human life, is a tissue made of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, and other substances suspended in a straw yellow fluid called plasma. And blood is a liquid of life, and it is precious. And it contains uh, components, that is red blood cells, white blood cells, plasma, and platelets, and functions of red blood cells is to carry oxygen and help remove waste from the body, and white blood cells uh, helps to fight infection. It's a body defense mechanism for, to fight in, infection, and plasma constitute the liquid part of the blood and serve to transport cells, nutrients, and other elements of the immune system. And platelets uh, help in clotting of blood. And a healthy individual has uh, five to six liters of blood in our body. A healthy man has 76 ml per kg body weight, and a healthy female has uh, 66 ml per kg body weight. But for our normal body functions, only 50 ml body, uh, per kg body weight is required. So if you calculate a uh, 50 kg a person, then he'll have an excess of more than one liter of blood. There is a need to, you know, do more on this, not just on these days, but frequently these kind of uh, donation uh, programs needs to be organized, especially in colleges, uh, wherever youth can participate. Uh, because there are, uh, in rural areas, when I visit, uh, there are certain, uh, still there are a lot of, uh, uh, you know, beliefs that if you donate blood then you become weak or there are many things uh, i don't want to go into the details uh, so there is a strong need to change this these uh, misconceptions and uh, beliefs and uh, the best way is to work with the youth uh, because they are the future of this uh, place for, for any place uh, so let's work uh, and have more such sessions uh, in colleges Tura, to, we have a lot of colleges. I remember in East Caro Hills, uh, in fact, uh, with uh, much uh, difficulty, uh, we could uh, finally start the blood uh, center there. So people were so happy uh, when that started, I think uh, in 21, if I'm not wrong. So uh, people were very happy because in emergency situations, uh, before that only Tura was having, uh, you know, in the entire Garo Hills. So when we were able to start in uh, William Nagar Civil, people were very happy uh, because there are many cases like RTA cases, uh, the road traffic accident cases, and uh, 
and we all also are aware that uh, we have a problem of anemia in women uh, which is very very uh, common and uh, that is why during some uh, you know even in uh, the delivery cases uh, we need sometimes the uh, blood uh, infusion so people were really very happy uh, and they have benefited and it's going on really well and here also under the leadership of our doctors it's going very well but we need to expand this as i said uh, we need to uh, do more it also uh, makes the residents you know uh, as, as a group they will feel good of having done something for the uh, society so it brings people together i think it's a wonderful thing should be promoted in colleges and uh, these fears and uh, misconceptions should be really addressed I just want to highlight two things. All, all of you heard how important the whole uh, blood donation, how important blood is. Any of us who have handled a lady who has delivered with postpartum hemorrhage or a child who has had uh, hemophilia, for example, who needs blood transfusion probably every three months, all of us will understand how important blood is in our lives. Right? But one thing as an advice from us, I've been a senior advisor to the government of India many, many years before I retired here in Jengchul, is that what we really need to look at is something called a blood component therapy. Right now, what we are doing is giving whole blood. And sometimes whole blood is not necessary for many of the conditions. Like a lady who is bleeding postpartum hemorrhage where we need blood, we got something called one of the slides, madam, which you showed about blood component therapy. What we need is only pack cells. And even for a small child, because we are many pediatricians in SDS Jengjal, even for a small child, sometimes whole blood is not needed. And sometimes it might be, uh, we might overload a small child who needs only a small volume of blood. So it's very important. And why it is also important for blood component therapy is, for example, we don't need to give whole blood for all the conditions, right? Like, for example, if we have a dengue hemorrhagic fever, dengue is starting now, dengue is hemorrhagic fever, we don't need to give whole blood. You know, what we use is something like a fresh frozen plasma, which is very important. And this is one very big need, sir. I mean, we have been in Garu Hills, very big need which we face because we have a blood bank, we have a huge supply also from our BSF campus everywhere. Thanks, thanks to everyone. But then what we really need to look at is how do we actually promote blood component therapy? When God has created and, and keep the human being at the top of the top, then as a human being, we should think about the all the, uh, like a human. We have a human approach about, about the, all the creature of the God. And in that, if suppose I'm the fittest person, and somebody is having the, the medical emergency and he is in need of the blood and, and I'm not donating, then it is my fitness, my physical fitness or, or my health is the useless because if as a human being I cannot help, I cannot be considered, I cannot be cooperative, then I'm not a human being. So as a human being, I, I started the blood donation since my college time. I, I think I was, I was at the age of 19. I was in the hostel immediate in the evening time. I, I, I think at about 8 o'clock in the night, some, somebody came to our hostel and asked that any don blood donors. I, I, fortunately, I'll say I was fortunate that I was uh, standing in front of the hostel. I asked, what, the, what is the emergency? He told that there's, there is a lady. See, uh, the, some complications is there in the, in the delivery and she need blood and it is an emergency. Then I thought a, a, a human being is going to die without the, uh, because of the shortage or deficiency of the blood. Then I thought what the use of the living on this earth when God has given at you at the top of this and you are not considered, you, then your, your life is useless. Then I volunteered and even I took four of my friends with me and went to the hospital to donate them. Since then I thought that as a human being, we should, we should help, we should consider it and, and when the God has kept as a top of this data, then we should think accordingly. So we should consider it, we should cooperate and we should uh, we help each other so that this universe can be a, a, a good place to live. So I request you all donate as and when you got the opportunity and, and motivate others also. 
And second thing is when you will sleep in the, in the evening, when you think, you will feel happiness. You will say, have a sense of achievement that you have done something, good work for someone else. So you will have a good sleep. So for your own sake, for the, 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 uh, the, for the, the society, please donate the blood and, and motivate others to donate. Today, on the occasion of World Blood Donor Day 2022, 2022, do hereby pledge to donate my blood regularly. Pledge to donate my blood regularly. Keeping in view, keeping in view the huge need of blood in India. The huge need of blood in India. I also undertake. I also undertake to create awareness. To create awareness. Amongst my family members, amongst my family members, friends, friends, relatives, relatives colleagues, colleagues, and public, and public about the need for regular, about the need for regular voluntary unpaid blood donation. Voluntary unpaid blood donation. Along with this, along with this, I also undertake, I also undertake that whenever someone, that whenever someone is in need of blood, is in need of blood, I shall donate blood, I shall donate blood at my own expense, at my own expense, without any creed, without any creed, free from caste, free from caste, religion discrimination, religion discrimination. I will make, I will make, rely upon.